by the end of the lesson, I will be able to solve one-step inequalities using multiplication and division. You need to write this in your notes. It is the most important thing you need to know and remember about multiplying and dividing to solve inequalities. So if and when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the inequality. So you need to turn, flip your inequality over. Everything else is the same as solving inequalities with addition and subtraction. So the first one that you need to write down is 4x is less than or equal to 40. I'm going to draw my line just like I did when solving uh, equations and adding and subtracting to solve inequalities. The relationship between 4 and x is multiplication. So I'm going to undo multiplication with its opposite, which is divide by 4. And if I divide by 4 on the left and divide by 4 on the right, then 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I'm left with x. I did not divide by an, with a negative number, so I'm going to leave my inequality symbol the same. And 4 divided by 40 is 10. Our second inequality, I'm going to draw my line. I see division happening, so I have to multiply... When I have to multiply by a fraction, I must write my multiplication with a fraction. If I am not multiplying by a fraction, then I can simply write the integer. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on the left, and I'm going to multiply by 3 on the right. I did not multiply by a negative number, so I'm going to keep my inequality symbol as less than or equal to m is what's left on the right hand side because the threes cancel out and five times three is 15. The next example is negative 10 is less than r divided by eight. So I have r divided by eight. I'm going to multiply by eight and I'm going to multiply by eight on this side. Now you're probably thinking, oh, there's a negative 10, so I'm going to flip my sign, and you are incorrect. Do not flip the sign unless the integer that you have written on both sides is negative. So I'm not multiplying both sides by a negative. The negative is only on the left. So my inequality is, symbol is going to stay the same, and when I have... On the right-hand side, when my 8s cancel out, I'm left with R. And 8 times negative 10 is negative 80. So I have negative 80 is less than R. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to divide because I see multiplication happening. So I'm going to divide by a negative 10 on both sides. So I'm dividing by a negative 10. Oh, I have a negative. I'm dividing by a negative on the right-hand side, and I'm also dividing by that same negative on the left-hand side. So my inequality symbol used to be a less than sign, but now it's going to be a greater than sign because I'm dividing by a negative. So my negative tens cancel, and I'm left with an A, and 60 divided by negative 10 is negative Six. Zero is greater than or equal to negative 2p. Join my line. Multiplication is what is happening, so I have to undo that with division. I have a divide by a negative, and I have that same negative on the left-hand side. So I'm going to have to flip my inequality symbol. It used to be a greater than or equal to sign, but now it's going to be a less than or equal to sign. My negative two p's cancel, or my negative twos cancel, and I'm left with p. And zero divided by negative two is zero. It's very important that you're switching your inequality symbols because if you don't, when you go to graph your inequality, you're going to get your graph incorrect. 
I have negative 2 is greater than or equal to 3. I see division happening, so I'm going to undo division with its opposite, which is multiplication. So I'm multiplying by 3 on both sides. My inequality symbol is going to stay the same because I did not multiply by a negative. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 is greater than or equal to n is left over on the right-hand side. Negative 12 is less than 3x. 3x is multiplying together, so I'm going to have to divide to undo multiplication. Divide on both sides. 3's cancel, I'm left with x. I did not divide by a negative, so my symbol, my inequality symbol of less than is going to stay. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4, so negative 4 is less than x. Last one, I have my line. I see division happening, so I'm going to have to multiply. My twos are going to cancel out. I'm multiplying by two on the right-hand side, so I'm left with b. I did not multiply by a negative. Less than seven times two is 14.